In this video, I will show you how you can make your own high current motor driver shield for Arduino which can be used to drive robots that uses more than two motors. Using this, you can drive up to four high current DC motors simultaneously and independently using your Arduino Nano. Months before, we built a two wheel drive robot for beginners, remember? After that, I was building this six wheel drive RC robot with suspension as a hobby project. I used to make a lot of wheel robot and so, I already had some old PCBs I designed with Arduino Pro Mini, HC Tool Wireless Module and an L293D motor driver IC. Most of my previous robots were two-wheeled or four-wheeled and most of them had two or a maximum of four simple DC motors. So, I didn't have to worry much about the current. But this time, it was different. It was the first time I was dealing with six high-speed DC motors using a single IC. These motors drew around 350 mA. So I assembled the robot, connected all the motors in one side to the output of motor 1 of L293D IC and similarly I did with the other side. Connections were perfect. The problem started when I pushed the throttle. The boat moved like a snail and the motors made a humming sound. When I touched the IC, it was coarse. A single L293D was not able to provide enough current to drive all the motors. So what is the solution? One solution was to use separate DC motor drivers to drive motors separately. Or I could use another motor driver IC L29810, the big brother of L293D, which can handle an output current of up to 2 ampere. I could also put one on top of the other and solder them in parallel, which is called piggybacking, which I will explain in a moment. I decided to make a high current DC motor driver shield for Arduino Nano that will be able to drive multiple motors simultaneously and independently and at the same time provide enough current to drive all of them without generating much heat. Now let's take a look at the circuit. I used an amazing PCB designer called Altium to make my own PCBs for my projects and believe me guys, it's very easy to create your own PCBs using Altium. If you are a DIY electronics enthusiast, this is gonna be really useful for you. Altium is an amazing PCB designer with so many user-friendly tools and amazing features like centralized cloud storage, online collaboration with which you can design and create your own PCBs for your hobby projects or share your ideas across your network. You can download the free trial version from the description down below. You can also get a 6 months full license if you are a student, so make sure you check it out. The idea here is to connect two L293D motor drivers in parallel. This is called L293D piggybacking. Let me explain it in simple terms. Let's take a closer look at L293D motor driver IC. L293D is a reduced type of edge split circuit in the form of an IC. L293D motor driver IC allows DC motors to drive on either direction without changing the physical circuit. It is an IC with 8 pins on each side which contains two free edge split circuits. Which means we can control two motors separately using a single IC. The left side of the IC deals with one edge bridge and the right side deals with the other. There is a pin called enable pin for each edge bridge circuit. The edge bridge will work only if the enable pin is set to logic 1. Due to the high current flowing through the circuit, there are four ground pins employed in this IC. Of course, L293D is the most widely used motor driver IC among hobbyists and engineers to drive motors in their projects. But there are certain limitations to this IC when it comes to high load or high current motors. One of them is peak current. The maximum current it can provide over a single channel is 600 mA or 1.2 ampere peak. With this current, L293D cannot drive multiple DC motors that draws huge amount of current. L293D piggyback configuration is an easy way to double the current as well as the power of L293D motor driver IC. So, the entire thought is to connect another L293D chip straightforwardly over one IC pin to pin and thereby connecting them in parallel. This puts the two chips in parallel mode so the voltage will remain the same as before but the current increases. After piggybacking two of them together, they will provide output with 1.2 ampere persistent current and a peak current of 2.4 ampere for brief periods. That is exactly what we did here. Here, you can see a pair of L293D motor drivers connected in parallel over here and another pair of ICs connected in parallel over here. So, the first pair ICs drive the first two motors and the second pair of ICs drive the next two motors. All the inputs of L293D motor driver ICs are connected to GPIO pins and all the enable pins are connected to the PWM pins of Arduino. For IC set 1, we use D2, D4 and D3 to control motor 1 
and D7, D8 and D5 to control Moto2. For ICZ2, we use D12, D13 and D6 to control Moto3 and A0, A1 and D9 to control Moto4. Other than that, I have added some header pins over here which can be used to connect other sensors and modules to this board directly and some more here that provide 5V and ground connections this can be used to power additional circuits to this board for further expansion. Also, here is where we connect the HC12 wireless module which I'll be using to control the board remotely. Also, I have added some indicator LEDs over here for easy troubleshooting. Once the circuit was finished and tested, I designed a compact PCB using Altium where I can fix all the components neatly. Here, you can see the routing is there on both sides of the board which means it's a dual layer PCB. I will provide links to the Gerber file in the description. I ordered the PCBs from PCBWay. PCBWay is a PCB manufacturer specializing in PCB prototyping, low volume production and neat and tidy PCB assembly. If you are interested in making your own PCBs for your projects, make sure you check out the link below. You can get a $5 discount when you sign up using the link below and get an additional $5 discount at the checkout by providing the coupon code PCBWAYLAB. To order your PCB from PCBWay, go to PCBWay website and fill in the basic board details in the instant order form. From there, you will be directed to a form where you can provide more elaborate board details. Update your board information in the PCB specification screen. On the next screen, you should be able to upload your Gerber file and submit it for a review. Once the review is completed, all that is left to do is add to cart, make the payment and wait for your PCBs to arrive. Once you get all the components and the PCBs, it's time for you to solder them together. Solder all the components onto the board and make sure to check the polarity of the components before soldering. After soldering, the PCB looks like this. Now you are good to go. Now about coding the Arduino Nano for driving the motors. Here we are using Arduino Nano and we are not wasting any pins here. We have all the GPIO pins connected to these headers so that if you want to connect any sensors or other external modules to these robots, you can do that easily with header cables like this. To control Moto1, we can use pin D2 and D4 and PWM pin D3 to control the speed. To control Moto2, we can use pin D7 and D8 and PWM pin D5 to control the speed. Like that, to control Moto3, we can use pin D12 and D13 and PWM pin D6 to control the speed. To control Moto4, we can use pin A1 and A0 and PWM pin D5 to control the speed. With this shield, you should be able to drive almost all the DIY robots that have up to 4 wheels easily. You can also use software serial library to receive the data from HC12 wireless module from the remote controller and pass it on to the Arduino. Ask all your doubts in the comments down below. If you find this video useful, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button right here. See you in the next video.